to round 1C of the Final Fantasy Tactics Auto Battle, Battle Tournament hosted by Slime Salad. This round is uh, JSH versus Twin Conclusive. The setting for this battle is the inside of Muran Chapel where you fight um, your younger or your brother, Nizalbag, who has been turned into a zombie by your other brother. It's a complicated plot. Now, you'll notice that JSH did not bother providing names for his units. They're no named Male 1, Female 1, Female 2, and Female 3. Right off the bat we have two dancing units. Haste is a great opening move. Looks like a draw out. Does great damage. and a jump, which will almost but not quite kill that summoner. The dance does just a little damage, doesn't hit the jumping unit. Of course we're seeing the same thing here from this archer. Of course the archer does it a little better because she has higher attack. Magic song whiffs on both units, not that it would do them much good anyway. Wave Fist brings the archer down to critical, but she can damage split it and bring herself back up. Our singing chemist uh, decides to expotion the archer here. Good move. Of course, it'd be nice if he phoenix down that dead monk too. Whose name is again? Uh, really pitiful damage on these units. Damage split it for three. Nice. Now that Lancer should be falling any minute now. Now those purple numbers meant MP damage because that one unit has MP switch, meaning she takes damage from her MP first. Of course she doesn't have that much MP so that may have been it for her. And that's certainly it for the Archer. Yeah, we see that she's out of MP there. And the jump whiffs. Usually the uh, computer's smart enough not to do that. Haste may have thrown off its calculations. Pew. The uh, chemist equipped with a the gun there triggers sunken state that the uh, chemist on uh, Twin Conclusive's team is now invisible, so he won't ge be getting targeted by... Of course, it looks like he's alone on his team now. Phoenix down. He goes for the archer. This may be a, a very short battle again. Now Wiznabus won't even kill that archer. But this sure will.
and this doesn't quite put the chemist down to critical. Doesn't trigger sunken state either. The dancer has a two range attack on its um, normal attack. It does trigger sunken state this time. We'll see if the chemist goes for an explosion on himself or another phoenix down on an ally. And it's a phoenix down, same on the archer. Which is probably the best choice since she's the only unit on the team with significant evade. That's thanks to the shield that she's wearing. The summoner goes in for a summon, this will probably seal off the game. You see the ninja retreating there because he figures it's a done deal. And summons are a 100% guaranteed hit, so... That does it. Thanks for playing, guys. We will see you in round two.